Hello everybody, this is Yaakov Fein, and we are continuing reading the book TypeScript quickly, chapter 3. Today we'll talk about working with interfaces. It's not the first time we talk about interfaces, but we'll continue from a different angle, so to speak. But first, let me show you my beautiful t-shirt that I got. I got this t-shirt from my publisher, from Manning, and uh, on the back it says that if you will use the code TSTS quick, one word, you're gonna get 50% off this book on Manning.com, being that printed book or ebook. Going back to chapter three, working with interfaces. In lesson number nine, I already said that you can define a custom type using the interface keyword. You can define some number of properties in there, but this is not the only thing that you can define in the interface. You can also define methods in there. Define, you can, uh, meaning you can just add method signatures in there, not implementing them. Implementations are not allowed in the interface in TypeScript, but method declarations are allowed. And today we'll talk about how an interface can help you enforcing the contract. I'll use some slides. I'll use some slides and we'll talk about enforcing the contract. Uh, an interface, as I said, can include methods and property. And if you declared an interface and you can say that a class implement that interface, implements, it's a keyword. If you say that uh, the class implements an interface, so-and-so, it means that you have to write implementation or add implementation to this class for each and every property or method declared in the interface. Let's design a car and see how this concept works. There are two mental models in general. And one of them is programming to implementation, meaning I need to implement something, let me just implement it. Or program to interfaces. If you need to implement something, first think. It's, in general, it's a good idea if you first think. Think about the API, application program interface, how uh, this class or objects of this class will be used, what methods they are supposed to have, what their arguments, what they will return, and you declare an interface just with these method signatures, public API. And then you implement it. So let's design a car. First of all, using this mental model, when we program two interfaces, we will start with declaring an interface, like over here. See what a car should be able to do. I don't think about implementation at this point. Just a list, a met, uh, an interface, I called it more a vehicle, and I decided to invoke, not invoke, declare there a certain number of methods, signatures. If you have a motor vehicle, you should be able to start the engine, stop the engine, uh, use brake, use accelerate, use honk. Right? And these are the method signatures. One of them has a little... Uh, bug, but I'll, I'll point at it a bit later. Anyway, if you define this custom type and it's an interface with method signatures, then you can write a class, in this case I, I say class car, and I say that the class will implement motor vehicle interface. The minute I say that, I must write implementation for all these guys, for all these methods over here. If I won't, it'll give me an error. So basically, whenever I say that the class car implements motor vehicle, it's like, I swear, I swear to God that my class will have each and every method declared in this interface. For example, something like this. What I don't like uh, about this method accelerate over here is that I did not specify um, in the method signature, I did not specify 
ex explicitly that this method returns nothing, or maybe it should return boolean. So this, the TypeScript compiler will pick it up, of course. Um, it, well, you will see how this works. But anyway, I have an interface, and I uh, I wrote implementation for each of these methods. Yeah, and in some cases, I just simply return true. In some cases, I just do console.log. But it's besides the point. You can implement these methods the way you want them, but they are implemented now. And compiler will be happy because I implemented each and every method over here. Right, let's take a look, take a quick look at the, the TypeScript playground. See, I declared an interface and it's not happy. It's not happy about this method. Hover over the mouse pointer and you'll see that uh, accelerate lacks return time annotation. Explicitly has an any return type. Uh, it's not nice. I can go and shut it down by saying uh, I allow implicit any, but let's be nicer, a little bit nicer, and say that it returns void, meaning nothing. Now it's going to be happy. I'll go back to the chapter. This was listing 13. In listing uh, 14, I declare the whole class which implements this interface, and in the end, I create a new instance of the class car, and I invoke a method uh, uh, search uh, start engine or something like this. But first, before I even go going there, I want you to note on the right hand side there is nothing there. TypeScript compiler does not generate any equivalent to the interface because JavaScript doesn't support interfaces. As simple as that. So. Now I implement the I wrote a class that implement this that implement this interface, right? And at the end I create an instance of it and I invoke start engine. Start engine does what? Does nothing. It just returns true. So there is no no use of even uh, running it because you won't see anything on the console. On the right hand side, uh, it uh, generated the JavaScript of the ECMAScript six spec. Right or something like this, at least newer, right? Let, let's let's make it old. Let's make it old just for just for fun. See, uh, in ES5 there are no classes, so it generates function. All right, enough enough of that of those games. We work with modern browsers, let's say. So we have a class that implements the interface. All right, so far so good. So far, so good. Now, I, I created an instance of this class just like this. Uh, I declared a variable of type, um, I declared a variable car. I didn't even specify the type car with a capital C, because in this case, TypeScript uh, inferred the type properly. But I could, have I could have written something like this with explicit type for the variable car. I wouldn't do this though. I would write it like this. And now let's take a look at this beauty. Look at this. I said that the car has a type motor vehicle. And I still implement, I still create an instance of the class car. Is this even allowed? Of course, it, it is allowed. Basically, what I'm saying is that since the class car implements motor vehicle, I can say that the variable uh, car is of type motor vehicle. And what's the difference between this declaration and uh, the previous one, for example? And the difference is that the class car, in general, may have many more methods than just these five, right? If I declare the variable car of type car, I would have access to any method of the class car. I, I could have written car dot something. Uh, if something there is, if there is a method, something. But if I uh, say that the type of the car is motor vehicle, I will have access through this variable car only to those methods that were declared in motor vehicle. In general, I didn't say that so far, but a class can interface more than one inter can implement more than one interface. So I can say, right, class car implements motor vehicle, comma flyable, comma um, diveable or something like this. But if I declare a variable only of type motor vehicle, only these methods will be available for this variable. 
All right, now let's design a car for James Bond, Agent 007. You know that this guy has these super duper cars which can not only ride the road, but they can swim and they can fly if need be. If need be. This is a car from the movie The Spy Who Loved Me. So, uh, the car uh, implements motor vehicle. Now we think, all right, so that's fine, but now it also needs to fly and swim. Uh, using this mentality of th uh, program to interfaces, we start with declaring interfaces. Interface flyable, and I decided that it'll have this API, the method fly and the method land. Or uh, for swimming, for the uh, ocean, or the river, we will in declare an interface swimmable and the method will look like this swim with an argument how far, for example. But the car is still a motor vehicle, right? So it's, it's motor vehicle, but now we can say that the class car implements motor vehicle, comma, flyable, comma, swimmable. Once again, we are enforcing the contract and now the contract states you must implement each and every method that is declared in motor vehicle, in flyable and in swimmable. Let's count. We used to have five methods in the motor vehicle, right? Five of them. And we have two methods in flyable and we have one method in swim, in swimmable, sorry. So I would assume that now the class car has to implement eight methods. That's fine, but the next question is why making every car flyable and swimmable? See, now my class car, when I implement all these methods, will be uh, drivable as a motor vehicle, flyable and swimmable, but not every car is a car for James Bond. We or real people. I don't need to fly in my car. I am happy that I can drive it safely, let alone flying. So uh, it's not a good idea that to have every car implement all these interfaces, right? It's not the best idea. So what we can do, we can say, all right, so class car, let it implement motor vehicle. Let's not touch it. And what we can do, we can say, all right, so, but it, instead, we can create a class secret service car. It'll extend the class car. And this one, secret service car, will implement flyable and swimmable. Because the class the secret service car is a subclass of the car, it means it, it'll have all five methods from the motor vehicle interface. Plus, on top of that, It'll implement methods from flyable and swimmable. So now it's getting a little bit better. Right? So, uh, so we have that. We have that. They don't deserve a service class, right? A secret service class. And, uh, and the next question is, if we are creating a car for James Bond, even these methods that are declared uh, and uh, maybe implemented, not maybe, definitely implemented in the car, for James Bond, we want to implement them differently. Like start the engine should start just like that, right? So uh, now, it's, now even this part doesn't look like a great idea for me, uh, to me, because I, in this case, I have to use implementation of these methods from the regular car. No good. So I said, finally, I say, you know what? I have a class secret server car and I will re-implement everything. All five methods that are declared in a motor vehicle. Two methods from flyable and one from swimmable. So this way I will not extend my secret service car from the car. This will allow me to cleanly uh, implement motor vehicles methods from scratch. See how so many different ways of uh, creating a car and the car for James Bond. While looking at that thing, then we have another thought. Mm, but flyable is also a motor vehicle, right? 
So maybe it's a better idea to say that flyable extends motor vehicle. Flyable has two methods, right? So we can say interface flyable extends motor vehicle. You can use the keyword extend with interfaces as well. I am sure Java developers are looking at it now and say and think to themselves, we already know all that. Exactly, guys, you are right. It's basically pretty much the same. The only thing is that starting from Java 8, you can implement some methods in the interfaces, but in TypeScript, you cannot. You cannot. So our final, final version of the Secret Service car look like this. It says that it implements uh, flyable and swimmable. Flyable from the previous slide. Flyable extends motor vehicle. So it has five methods from here and two from there. So seven total. Uh, this, is, this is the seven methods here and swimmable one more. So since we said implement flyable and swimmable, we swear that we implement all of them. And that's why I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight methods in there implemented somehow. So that's basically what I wanted to show you today, that you can change your mental model a little bit and think interfaces. Don't just be in a rush implementing the implementing the code the second your manager said write a class car instead of just saying yes sir or yes ma'am just think a little bit start with declaring an interface just think to yourself what this class should be able to do and then add declare this custom interface by doing this you have great flexibility and you can reuse even in this in my uh, example you, you've seen how you can reuse the motor vehicle interface in different, uh, different ways. Either, either implemented in the class car, or implemented by the class secret service car, or create an interface flyable that extends motor vehicle, and so on. So you are building little bricks, little Legos, that will allow you to nicer, to nicer, implement or write your code, make it more readable and understandable. That was lesson 15 and my name is Yaakov Fein.